In this video, we're going to add guest enter ID accounts to a pooled host pool in Azure Virtual Desktop. This feature makes managing external access to AVD much easier. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome back to the channel. Microsoft just announced something big. Support for external IDs is now generally available in AVD and Windows 365. That means users outside your organization's tenant can finally access your AVD environment with existing credentials. In this video, I'll show you how to invite a guest user to AVD. Before we jump in, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with a friend or colleague. If you want to learn more, check out my courses at udemy.com. The links are below. And a huge thanks to all my channel members for your support. All right, let's get into it. The idea is simple. We've got a user in tenant A who needs access to AVD in tenant B. Sounds easy, right? Well, until recently, it wasn't that simple. Let's talk about identity types in AVD because there's more than just one. First, we have Active Directory integrated identities. These are hybrid identities synced from on-prem Windows AD or identities synced to Entra DS. These identities can sign into session hosts joined to Entra ID or Active Directory. Then there's cloud native identities. These only exist in Entra ID. Since they're not in Active Directory, they can't log into AD join hosts. They only work with Entra ID join session hosts. Now let's talk about users outside of the organization. And this is where we have to be careful not to mix up two terms, external users and external identities. An external user is someone outside of the organization. To give them access, we have to create an account for them inside our tenant. The big difference between internal users and external users is licensing. External users don't need the same license as an internal user. There's an external commercial license option for remote apps or remote desktop and remote apps. This is for access to SaaS-based applications hosted in AVD, but we still have to set them up as users inside our Enter ID tenant. That's external users. Now we have external identities. These are guest users invited to our tenant. They log in with the same credentials used in their own organization. That's what's called a B2B guest account. With B2B guest accounts, authentication happens in their home tenant, but they're authorized to access resources in ours. And it's not limited to other enter tenants. Guest users can come from social identity providers like Google and Facebook. Plus, we can enforce MFA and conditional access policies on those guest accounts. External identities don't support Kerberos, so FSLogix was a no-go until now. With a new preview feature, cloud-only identities can use FSLogix for AVD access, and that includes external identities. We'll check that out in the demo coming up. There are a few restrictions. The client must be Windows 11 Enterprise, single or multi-session, 24H2, with the September 2025 cumulative updates or newer. Session hosts must be Enter ID joined, Active Directory joined isn't supported. Single sign-on has to be enabled in the host pool. External identities only works with the Windows app client or Windows app web, and cross-cloud users aren't supported, so no mixing commercial and government clouds, for example. Licensing matters too. External identities need the same license as internal users. A Microsoft 365e educational A or VDA license is required. And if we're using MFA or Intune, they'll need to be licensed as well. Here's something to keep in mind. Licensing doesn't cross tenants. If a user has a license for AVD and tenant A, they still need a license in tenant B to log in with a guest account, even if both tenants are in the same multi-tenant organization. Up next, we'll walk through the invitation and login process. We'll start by creating an invitation in the resource tenant and then accept it and log in as a guest. As a bonus, we'll verify FSLogix works. I'm using the same host pool used for the cloud native identities and FSLogix demo. Check that video out if you'd like the full setup details. Links to the Microsoft docs are in the description below. Let's jump into the Azure portal and get started. Here we are in Enter ID. We'll start by inviting our external identity or guest account, also known as a B2B account, to the tenant. From Enter ID, at the resource or the AVD tenant, go to Users, Add Users, and invite external user. First, we have to enter an email address for the external user. The email address is also the UPN and is just used to send the invite. 
the user in this demo does not have an email address. It's just a test account that I'm using, but that's not a problem for the demo. We can add the UPN of the existing user, log in as that user in a private session, and use the invite URL to finish the setup. The email address is just used to send the invite. Add the UPN to the email field, and if your account does have an email address, that's fine as well. The user has already been created in the remote or the guest tenant, seraltoslab.com for this example. The local tenant is seraltos.com, similar names but different tenants. Provide a display name, external identity for this example. Now in production, your guest user would likely have an email address, so we'd leave the send invite box checked. But as stated earlier, this user doesn't have an email address. I'm not paying for that license for a test account. So we'll uncheck the box. Before we do, copy that invite URL. This is the URL the user will use to onboard as a guest user in the tenant. We'll uncheck the send invite message box. Let's go to properties. You can add details as you'd like in this page. This example will just add the first and last name and go to assignments. The goal is to have the user access AVD with an external guest account. Let's add them to the group with access to the host pool. So this group has access to the remote desktop app on the host pool. And also the user will need the virtual machine user login role to log in to enter join session host. In this environment, that role is assigned to the same group. And as I stated earlier, this is only available for enter ID join session hosts. From here, go to review and invite and invite. That was created. Now, if we search for the guest user, we'll open the account. Notice it indicates the user type is guest and the B2B invitation status is pending acceptance. Next, let's switch to the user account in the guest tenant to accept the invitation. Here we are logged into the guest tenant. That's the seraltoslab.com tenant for this example as the guest user, external identity for this example. Next, we'll open the URL from the invite to accept the guest user invitation. The background change, that's the background for the seraltos.com tenant. Review the permissions request and accept if you agree. Depending on the environment, you may have to onboard for MFA. Go through those onboarding steps for whatever MFA requirements the resource tenant requires. Once finished, you're logged into the AVD tenant as the guest user. If we go back to the AVD tenant and open the external guest account, here we are at that external guest account. Let's refresh. And now it shows the invitation has been accepted. Next, let's log into AVD and verify it works. We'll go back to the session logged in as the guest user. Guest accounts must use the Windows app or the Windows app web page. We'll use web access. Let's go to windows.cloud.microsoft. And after we log in, there's no resources for the user. We gave them group membership with rights to log in. So what's going on? This is a simple fix, but one that will need to be communicated to your end users. We need to go to the user in the top right and switch the organization. We're signed in to Seraltos Lab. And remember, that's the guest's local tenant. Let's switch to the tenant where it's a guest user, seraltos.com. And now we can see the resource. Next, let's connect to AVD. While it's connecting, this is a Windows 11 pooled host pool with the Entra only FS Logix configuration. It's also using single sign on. A link to the videos on both are below. And to be honest, this is the same host pool I used for the FS Logix with Cloud Native Identities video. Awesome, we're logged in with an external identity. This functionality has been around in preview for a while, but now it's GA. Previously, we couldn't use FS Logix with external identities. But now, if we go to the FS Logix storage account that's configured with FS Logix and Cloud Native Identities and drill down to the Share in the Profile folder, and there it is, our external identity has an FS Logix profile. Let's go to Manage Access on that external user's profile folder. This is a preview feature, and at this time, the Manage Access option is only available using a preview link shown on the screen. And again, check below, there's a video with a full walkthrough. It shows the recommended permissions for FS Logics were applied. Now we have an external identity with directory and file permissions on an SMB share. 
This adds a lot of flexibility with AVD deployments. I hope this clears up how external identities work in AVD. If you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.